what's up? This is Unrivaled Skyrim, and welcome to this Total War Rome 2 battle replay. This was a 3v3, and I was joined by a friend of mine, Swedish Landschlet. Um, he is a YouTuber and a good friend of mine now, and we were joined by his friend, uh, Elita, uh, Elite Legionary, and he's got, he's actually got a pretty cool Rome 1 channel on YouTube, and I will put links in the description below to both their channels um, they're real cool guys and real good players um, but before I get to the battle um, I'm gonna show a uh, a sneak peek at the next coming um, historical battle that me and General Santushi and Sun Jetsu are gonna release it is the Battle of Kanai and it is um, it's in the spirit of the new Hannibal at the Gates DLC, so I'm going to show two screenshots I took of the uh, the first bat battle that we did to um, recreate it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So um, yeah, check it out. This is the Battle of Del Minium, and um, I am playing as the Spartans. Uh, Elita is playing as the Galatians, and Swedish is playing as the, um, the as Pontus. Um, can't remember my our opponents' names, but there's a Swevi player, uh, there's another Spartan player, and there is a Carthaginian. Um, and I was the host of this battle, and I I. Decided to choose a um, more balanced map. There's widespread hills and uh, many places to um, hide troops in the forest regions. And um, yeah, there's a, a defile in the middle, and it, it really comes down to good teamwork and to secure um, each flank and to hold the center. But let's go ahead and take a look at my army composition. I got. Let's go over this real quick. I got five Rodian Slingers, looks like four Paroki Peltes, two Spartan Hoplites, five Spartan Pikemen, two Citizen um, Cav, and a Spartan, um, a hero of Sparta, which is my general. And this is the 3v3, this is why it's taken uh, forever for it to load on my uh, laptop. Um, this was a pretty laggy battle. It just takes one person with a bad connection um, or not so good connection to slow down the battle for everyone else. But let's go ahead and take a look at our initial deployments. But first, let's, let's listen to my they general. They would not stand to fight unless their bellies were swollen with booze. We will empty them presently. Make ready. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We're going to disembowel our enemies and our foes. Alright, let's take a look at my our initial deployments. I hold the center uh, with um, with um, Elita. He's got his cavalry on the right flank. And let's take a look at his units. He's got Galatian Riders. Um, these are, um, they are javelin throwers. And um, he's got two units of light horse. And they're going to be... Um, pretty swift and he's going to use them to um, counter charge um, any skirmishers um, take a look at the rest of his forces he's got a mixture of uh, levy freemen with some um, glacian spears celtic skirmishers these are javelin throwers on foot uh, he's got a pretty good core of um, galatian legionnaires his general i believe is in a double horse uh, very capable um, heavy uh, melee cav um, that, that's pretty much his army. Um, he doesn't have any slingers or any long-range missiles. Um, let's take a look at um, SLK's army. Um, he's got a mass of eastern slingers. He's got um, a fa grand phalanx of bronze shields pikemen. I think there's 
one, two, I think six of those guys. They're backed by, um, it appears to be three units of Pontic Peltes, very good units of Peltes. Um, they are armored and, well, slightly armored, and they have pretty good shield strength, so they can withstand, um, um, long-range missiles relatively good. Um, and his cavalry consists mostly of Noble Blood Cav, and he's got some Pontic Royal Cavalry in there as well. A good shot cav, very swift, and they have a pretty good charge bonus. Um, his general is in that unit right there. Um, and my deployment, I was, I got my pikes in the center. Um, Sparta now has Rhodian Slingers. I think I said this in my, uh, my other 2v2 with uh, General Santushi when I was using Sparta. Um, Sparta is really, um, after this latest patch, um, really helped out by having um, the addition of the Rhodian Slingers and the um, Cretan Archers because that gives them an equal um, uh, an equal amount of um, uh, of elite long range skirmishers. Before they only had crappy Helot Archers and Slingers. I mean, the Slingers were better than the Archers, but um, they're very um, very poorly um, equipped with long range missiles before the patch. But let's go ahead and take a look at the action. Uh, the Carthaginian player, he is um, skirmishing with Elita. Um, he's got these two nob uh, noble uh, Numidian Cav, and these guys are pretty um, pretty heavily armored for um, for missile calf. They're heavy mis they're considered heavy missile calf. Uh, not too bad of uh, shield strength either, I would imagine. Um, but Elita is doing a very good job of um, skirmishing back and forth his javelins. Um, and I'm trying to support with two units of Rhodian Slingers. The Spartan, he had the same idea, and he also brought Rhodian Slingers as well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our opponent's deployments. Um, he's got some Spartan pikemen situated on the hill with some Slingers, and there's going to be some German units um, coming in and out of my field of vision. Um, he's got some Spartan pikemen uh, as reserves. Got his general near um, his um, uh, Spartan hoplites, and he had the same idea as me. He brought a cheaper hero of Sparta unit, and the Carthaginian player, um, and he's also got some citizen cav. Uh, the Carthaginian player, um, he's got um, some Balearic slingers, and he's got them backed up by late Libyan hoplites to um, ward off any frontal charges by our cav. Um, and he's got a line of Libyan infantry and um, some mercenary Iberian swordsmen. I think he has some Carthaginian pikes, or not, um, African pikes somewhere. But let's go ahead and focus on the battle now. Um, right here, you can see on the mini-map, we're really just engaging on this wing. Um, I'm trying to get my mercenary Rhodian slingers into range. Um, I want them to discharge their stones at these Numidian Noble Cav. Um, if they can hit them from their non-shielded side, it'd really benefit us. Okay, let's see, are they in range? They should be in range now, just the edge. But I was really worried that I was going to get char- these units were going to get charged. So you're going to see me um, um, turn these units back pretty relatively quick. But, um, SLK, Swedish Landslet. He's going to um, he's going to send one unit of noble horse straight into the sides of this cab engagement. Let's take some cinematic view of this. So here is the cab engagement. You can see some of the Spartan um, citizen cab uh, getting into um, Elita's cab along with um, uh, SLK's uh, Royal Cavalry. So here you can see Alita is trying to get his Galatian Riders out of that melee um, engagement. Um, it didn't favor him. Um, and unfortunately, SLK, he is no, uh, I was going to say Noble Cavalry. Royal Cavalry is going to get swamped pretty much. And he's actually discharging missiles in the back of it. He's got his late Libyan hoplites chasing it down. But, um, uh, 
Elita, he's trying to uh, counter charge his, the Carthaginian players. Cav, his, um, his Noble Cavalry, where his general is at. And um, he looks like he's going to make it out there alive, but he's half depleted. Um, he's doing, the Carthaginian guy, he's doing a very good job of uh, protecting his cavalry with um, hoplites. It's a very good move. Um, but here you can see me, I'm going to bring forward my Spartan hoplites. I'm going to actually have them charge. Uh, they will definitely defeat this um, this late Libyan hoplite, even if it's upgraded. And I, I charge them from the side, so I kind of have them um, in a favorable um, position right now. Plus, I, uh, I'm backed by most of the um, Elita's units. Let's take another look at what's going on. Me and SLK, we were trying to, um, we were trying to get, um, to kind of scout and find out what the, um, what the Roman player had over here. We knew he was situated on, uh, near this hill, uh, but we didn't quite exactly know exactly the whereabouts of all his men and just how many men he did. And here you can see we're making a defensive front over here. I got my Spartan pikemen in the center. Uh, Swedish Lancelot, he's got his men um, at an angle to protect my flank. Um, so that's going on. Yeah, you can see the Carthaginian player, he's moving up his elephants, and this is when Elita, um, he, uh, requ he requests that I bring on my Paralochi Peltes, and that's exactly what I was doing. Uh, we're getting ready to discharge my missiles at these African war elephants. Um, and Elita's actually got some um, levy freemen to kind of try to absorb any chart, any frontal charges from these elephants. And here I get a good volley on these African elephants, and they got they got javelins in their face now. And SLK, he's trying to hold up that unit of elephant with his, his um, royal calf, um, but that elephant's going to get out of there. But I was able to, I think, kill one elephant in that. Um, that skirmish right there. Um, SLK, he will lose that unit of Pontic World Cab, but it was an honest attempt to get rid of that elephant unit. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. Um, SLK, he's going to go for a frontal charge on the Germ, uh, the Swebby player. Um, he only had Germanic Scout Riders, which are very light cav. Um, they're not really suited for a prolonged melee engagement, especially against uh, noble, noble cavalry, noble blood cav. But um, the German player, he's going to bring forward some units of um, one of those axemen. Bloodsworn. Bloodsworn, I think they have a mixture of like, I don't know, they have like clubs and axes and stuff. Just a mixture of weaponry. Um, I'm trying to support with my citizen cav and we're actually routing some of his units. Um, the German player does have a, uh, his general and a wooden ass spear and he is... Um, he is getting his spears into our cavalry. Um, there, yeah, we took out some of his cavalry, and we're trying to um, at least do as much damage to the German player's cavalry. Oh, what's going up? On, what's going on on the other flank? Uh, nothing much. We're just kind of skirmishing. I brought four of my Rodian slingers to uh, to, uh, to skirmish with the mercenary Balearic Slingers, the Carthaginian dude, um, but over here we're trying to take out as much as many German um, Germans as possible and here you actually see me uh, get sneak a citizen cav in their back lines, so I have free reign in their back lines, too bad there wasn't a mass amount of like um, of unsuspecting skirmishers, like especially expensive like Rodian Slingers something like that where I could have charged them down, but um but yeah, let's take a look. Um, my my Paralochi Peltes, that they, they are taking shots at the backs of these German, of these Germans, and um, they're getting not, they're not getting that many kills. 48. That's not that bad. See, this is okay. I've endured a lot of um, casualties. Um, so that flank, we kind of we took our losses. We knew if we um. um I mean, tactically, it was a victory because we're push we pushed back the German player, and um, um, he no longer has any cavalry. At least we took out most of his cav, 
and at the same time we um, minimize our losses if we would have stayed in that engagement. Um, especially um, um, Swedish Landslide's general was in jeopardy of um, being slain. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on. I tried to take this unit of Citizen Cav to chase down as many Rodian Slingers as possible. Um, and I'm, I'm almost successful, but I think it gets caught up on some of his Spartan Hoplites. Or actually, no, I do charge. Yeah, I'm going to get into some of the Rodian Slingers. Um, I probably should have kept on attacking. I could have gotten this Mercenary Cretan Archer um, at least to... Uh, do some sort of damage, um, and I, I, I instead just try to turn back and run. Um, but this unit was already pretty much depleted and gone, so I, pr I should have just charged those Cretan archers. But um, that's all right. And here, I kind of figured, you know what? There's not really anything I can do with this um, citizen cast, so I'm going to run it backwards through this gap, run it and <laughs> run it through that gap and reunite it with the rest of our forces um, but you're gonna actually see here the um, Spartan player um, our opponent he's gonna actually um, go on the offensive with these two units of hoplites a paraoke pike or a, a pikeman and a Spartan hoplite so I guess he's gonna try to attack some of um, SLK slingers and skirmishers but I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is an engagement that's going to favor me. I got my guys in Pike Phalanx and they are in at Steady. So they're going to drop their pikes. And you know what? I got a rear charge with that um, Spartan um, Citizen Cav right in those pikes. I knew that unit would have received that charge as well as that Spartan Hoplite. Um, he's trying to get around my flank. Um, good move. And I was able to deal a decisive blow against those Spartan um, pikemen. And they they pretty much were routed almost immediately after that charge. Um, and I'm going to catch these Spartan hoplites. He put them into a square evidently to get their sh to upgrade their shield strength. But um, they're still getting t uh, just torn up on my pikes. Taking a lot of casualties. 20. Spartan pikemen, no casualties. And this is when um, they bring forward the African war elephants. I cur I think I don't have any peltas here. Uh, yeah, the closest one is this one right here. But I, I told uh, SLK, you know what, just sling that unit to death that's unarmored. It will still go down if you focus fire. And there the Carthaginian player activated a, um, a trample charge in the back of one of my Spartan pikemen. And it actually got a, about... 52 kills um, for um, dying, but um, good job on my um, my allies' side. He um, he destroyed that elephant. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on the flank on the flanks. It appears that the Carthaginian is um, is attacking or is at, at least moving forward. Um, and on the other flank, the German is doing the same thing, um, and he's actually trying, to, I had my general on the extreme left flank, and I put him into, um, into, let's see here, into hoplite wall, and you can see his melee defense now, since he's in hoplite wall, is 98, and that's just phenomenal, and, um, although, although this Spartan, uh, this hero Sparta unit won't get a lot of kills, it will last long enough for us to reinforce this wing, and it, um, this hero Sparta was pretty much taking on Berserkers, Bloodsworn, more Berserkers. Here comes in more Berserkers, so pretty much four units um, before we could have um, uh, reinforced it. So it's a good trade-off when you can hold multiple units with one. And that's really the um, the use, the true use of Hoplites in this game. People really give them a bad rap for being very ineffective melee-wise, but defensively they are one of the best units to use, uh, especially with, you really just need to put them in hoplite uh, wall and they will be able to hold out for a very long time, even against sword units. Um, so you can see this hero Sparta, uh, my general, got 140 kills and counting and now it's just going to die, it's totally surrounded now, there's no way it's coming back. 
there you see it dies. Uh, let's take a look over here. Um, didn't really show it, but um, Elita and me, we were just charging the um, Carthaginian player, and um, we focused. I focused fire on um, his Lyric Slingers with my Rodians, and they were dispatched. Now the Carthaginian player is pretty much done. He's only got that new mini noble cab, but it's going against all these um, spearmen, and that's not a fight that will um, benefit them. So the Carthaginian player is pretty much done for at this point. Um, but now the Spar now we have to deal with the Spartan and the Swebby player. Um, the Spartan is trying to support um, the Swebby player on the on our left flank with two units of. Um, Spartan pikemen, and now we have reinforcements to um, reinforce the left flank. Um, and the Spartan players actually um, was attacking the front of the um, of um, SLK. But here you can see he did a pincer's movement at his with his uh, the Spartan's general, and it was getting um, impaled from both sides by levy pikemen. I could have swore he did bring Levy Pikeman. That's what I was kind of debating earlier. But, um, yeah, he is getting a full um, a full surround with pikes. I never, I you don't really see this that often in this game. But here you see it here in Rome One. You see it pretty much uh, uh, quite a lot with um, pikes. Um, see pikes surrounding units. Um, but there he makes a Pontic sandwich, and the Spartans are meet in the middle so let's take a look Swebby's just down to these units um, I was really just peppering them with Peltes so is um SLK he had some Eastern Slingers as well and Eastern I think he had some Javelin men I don't know where they went but um now the um the, the Spartan player is bringing forward um his um his pikemen um he really he had a quite a few units left it seems like at this point of the battle, he hadn't really committed too many of his troops. Um, SLK is raining havoc on his back lines, though. He's getting charges wherever. Um, I'm bringing forward my own pikemen as well. Um, you see me here, I almost get double teamed by two units, but you're going to see me actually back up and uh, so to give my other units time to get prepared. Um, and here you're going to see. Um, uh, Elita, he's going to throw in his Galatian uh, Legionnaires. Uh, he's really just try he tried to uh, get to this unit in time before they brought down their pikes, but they're held in place by his Legionnaires. And he gets a pretty cool uh, Galatian uh, charge on him in the rear. Nice hammer and anvil strike. I'm even bringing up my Peltas. I mean, not my Peltas, my pikemen. The Swebby player, he's trying to retreat back into the forest, but he's only down to like four units. Um, we are following him with um, our javelin men, our skirmishers, and our peltes, even sending forward some um, units of um, pikemen. The battle's pretty much over with. Um, um, we, held, we held on both flanks, and um, we were able to out-skirmish them. And oh, you just see there, uh, Elita just gets a deadly... Um, Rear charge on the Spartan pikemen and the hoplites, and yeah, they are going to flee. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the um, statistics. As you can see, um, Elita, he got the most kills. Um, actually, I got the most kills in this battle. I was thinking about the one before this one, um, but overall, it's pretty a decent. Um, decent battle um we all got a pretty um almost an equal amount of kills um let's take a look at some t statistics of my guys to begin with um my slingers to be expected the um there's little y you can do wrong with these mercenary Rod rodian slingers just don't allow them to get charged by cavalry or caught by you know heavy infantry or something like that um you know these citizen cav I, people give them a a bum rap for being very um you know ineffective in a cav fight but that's not really their use their use is to really support heavy cavalry and uh, their main use is to chase down skirmishers uh, but um i think they're a very affordable very effective cav 
uh, cavalry unit. With Sparta, that's all you've got. Uh, my general was able to withstand multiple units in a prolonged amount of time because I was able to get him in hoplite wall and he kind of had a hill. Um, even though he was surrounded by like berserkers and stuff, he was still able to get that amount of kills. Um, my Paraloki Peltes, they did pretty good. Um, some of them got into his elephants, weakened their, um, I think I was able to take out, down at least one elephant and well, weaken their HP. Um, I think this Spartan Hoplite didn't even get into battle. Um, this one, however, did um, with the Carthaginian and with some of the Spart other Spartans. And my Spartan Pikemen, for the most part, um, they did pretty well, except this, well, <laughs> this unit did the best, but it pretty much got slaughtered. Um, let's take a look at Elite Legionary. Um, a lot of kills with this calf. I mean, these are um, great kills. Um, his um, his army really really focused on um, kind of skirmishing and um, well, I'd say like mobile skirmishing with these um, Galatian Raiders. Um, did I call them Riders before? Uh, this noble horse, very good, uh, very good use of his cavalry. And even with these light horse, um, get kills with those um, is really a bonus because they're very cheap, very swift, light cav. Um, he tried to get them into skirmishers, but I think he got caught. But that's okay, you can throw away that unit. Uh, his swords did all right. And his levy freemen, these units are really throwaway units, and to get kills with them is pretty impressive. Uh, Swedish Langslet, let's take a look. His general got a lot of kills, a lot of kills. Um, I can't honestly tell you how he did that. I feel bad. Um, <laughs> uh, he got a lot of kills with his Eastern Slingers. Eastern Slingers are very good. Um, they're better than regular Greek Slingers that you'd use with, like, Epirus and, you know, Athens and stuff like that. Um, Pontic Peltes, pretty good. This one got over 150 kills. Um, his Bronze Shields. Uh, for the most part did good. This unit probably got charged or attacked from the flank or something like that. Levy Pikeman stood its ground, even got some experience, so must have killed some elite units of some sort. Um, yeah, that's our statistics. Let's take a look at theirs. Um, wouldn't ask Spears, he got him into some of our cavalry, so that's why he got that many kills, but I wouldn't recommend putting the general in a wooden ass spear. Uh, it would just seem very very vulnerable to a heavy infantry, sword infantry. Berserkers, uh, this one not a lot of kills, but I didn't fight that much. Um, uh, these Berserkers got a lot of kills. So very, a lot of kills with his Berserkers, and even with his Bloodsworn, they got, seemed like they got a lot of kills. Um, at least a few of them. Take a look at the other um, Spartan player. General got pretty much smoked by um, SLK's um, pikemen. He got totally surrounded. Um, don't really see that that often in this game. And he, you know, he got some, he actually got some kills with this citizen cab. 91 with this unit. Um, Green archers. I think overall uh, he didn't get enough kills with the, these expensive um, um, expensive mercenary um, skirmishers. I think they're still 600 denarii each without upgrades. So, let's see, 600. Um, that's 24,000 denarii um, that he spent on these four units. I don't think he made them cost effective. Um, Paraloki Pikemen, um, Spartan Hoplites, um, not enough kills with them. Spartan Pikemen, yeah. Um, he got the least amount of kills in this battle. And um, African War Elephants, take a look. If it's anything under 100, you wasted money. And they were um, they were a waste if you get 100 kills with uh, Elephants. Uh, these Mercenary Nomen and Cav, you can look out, uh, watch these guys. I mean, they, they can be very um, formidable in a... Um, in a um, melee fight, in a prolonged melee fight against other heavy cav, no, nah, they'll lose. But they will hold off for quite a long time. More than, uh, a heck of a lot more than other skirmishing um, cav units. This unit in particular got over 100 kills, so that's 
cost effective. Um, his slingers, um, actually they did pretty good. He only brought three of them. Um, minimal amount of Blyric slingers. This one got over 150 kills, so very good use of those units. As for the rest of his infantry, um, not enough kills. But um, yeah, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're still uh, watching right now. Um, um, please stay tuned. Um, we, me and General Santucci and Sanjetsu, we will have the um, Battle Kanai up within a week or two. Um, me and General already did the first, um, uh, we already um, reenacted the first part of the Battle of Kanai. Uh, of Kanai. Um, so please check that out when it comes out. We'll have a uh, an intro slash trailer coming out pretty soon. And as always, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Unrivaled Skyrim, and I'm signing off. Peace.